Hey yo, what's up guys? Best of games here. And we're starting a Pokemon Fire Red randomizer nuzlocke today. And I decided why not throw on a webcam? So here we are in a some Charmander pajamas. No, I don't wear these normally. And they were super cheap and I just said fuck it, I'll buy them. And this was years ago. So Play some randomizer nuzlocke here, and uh, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The circuit board's not installed. Blah 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 blah. In this world, stuff happens. Hi, Professor Oak. How you doing? Glad to meet you too, buddy. Uh, the Pokemon Professor, I have to definitely change the text speed, like, yesterday. I'm trying to not hit the speaker button as much, because I feel like that would be a little bit better. Uh, I'm gonna go with boy here. Let's go with Char for Charmander, because we are wearing a Charmander outfit here. And just so you guys do see it, uh, there is a tail. Granted, it's not really a tail, it's like... It's like a pinch to it. But... Uh, yeah. What was his name now? Uh, let's go with... Go Gary. Don't mind me. Just add some soda, some burping. Go zero. Good shit. So, since I finished up the last Pokemon series on my channel, I have been wanting to do something like this for a while. So. This is where we're at. Oh, I gotta keep hitting X for the fucking menu. Even did it testing, too. Oh, that is the wrong thing. Options, that's what we want. Um, I'm going to hope that I didn't set the fast text, because if there's fast text, then you won't see anything. Uh, I don't think I did. I don't know why I want that one. I'm, I'm down with it. I'm digging it. Okay, it's not on. I said the fast, and it's not like not showing anything. Because when you put fast on top of the fast text, text you can't see shit. So, oh, I need my own Pokemon protection. Okay, cool. Let's go. Yeah, 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 you're fed up with waiting, right, Gary? Yep. You're the impatient little fuck that Barry was based on, except Barry sucks compared to you. Uh-huh, you can be... you can have that. Which one will you choose for yourself? It's a cast form. No. A Pidgey? Oh, no. A Ledian. Oh, fuck, I might have to take the cast form. Shit. Lydian sucks. I have been on the record saying Lydian sucks. Fucking donkey dick. Pidgey's okay. If I take cast form, he's gonna be stuck with Lydian all game. Yeah, that's probably the best option, so come here, cast form. Uh, I don't have nicknames for these guys. I'm very bad at nicknames, actually. Um... Let's go with... Sure. Stormy. Yeah, Stormy. 
Hey Gary, grab your stupid Pokemon. Take that Lydian that sucks donkey dick. Good thing you're gonna have a shit Pokemon for the rest of the game. In my testing, <laughs> the random wasn't that better either. Uh, I used a different file that I had stored, that I had created like literally a year ago to do this, and I never did it. And I, I now have like four files set up for this. I was actually considering randomizing it so that way I would make sure I get Charmander or some sort of like thing in the Charmander line, you know, based on what I'm wearing here. But I figured that would be a little disingenuous, so uh, I decided against it. Um, fuck you and Supersonic Man. That felt a little too uh, wrong, I guess would be the word. In case you're wondering, I'm playing with the Amazon Basics Xbox 360 controller. Um, I don't own an Xbox or any of the parts of an Xbox. Hold on, I gotta use my potion here. It's important to get to know your Pokemon fairly. Shut the fuck up so I can use the potion. really don't need a tutorial on how to battle. Thank you. Okay, Stormy. Let's see, you got attack, defense. Okay, you're about even on everything. Your defense is a little lower than everything else, but you're, you're about even. Okay, I can kind of live with that. Yeah, you did pick the wrong Pokemon. Lydian sucks. You have the slight advantage of having... you've never seen a Nuzlocke or you haven't watched any of these on my channel before or anywhere else, um, the Nuzlocke rules are pretty simple. Um, first of all, Nuzlocke does not start until you have Pokeballs, and unless I sit here and check the item on my Stormy, I am not going to have Pokeballs because maybe he'll have a Pokeball. And if he does, then that's when Nuzlocke starts. But if I don't know about it, then I don't know about it. Uh, actually, I should check that first, honestly. God damn it, I keep trying to hit X. Which, on an Xbox controller, why? Because they couldn't just do what everybody else did. Um, Stormy, what do you got here, buddy? He's got Stardust. Sick. That's money. Rockhead prevents recoil damage. Okay. So with a randomizer, uh, I randomize the abilities, the items that are on the field, um... Things of that nature. You can get a potion, don't you? That. Um, so things like that are randomized. The Pokemon that you encounter in the grass are randomized. Uh, I did not modify any catch rates or anything like that, so if I see a legendary on the wild and that is my first encounter, which is how Nuzlocke's work, um, then that first encounter is a legendary that uses Whirlwind or something, and I use the Pokemon. Um, you only get to encounter one Pokemon per route as an attempt to capture it. If you cannot capture it, then you lose that Pokemon and that encounter for that route. Any kind of static Pokemon that exist in the overworld or are given to you are completely fair game. And you're supposed to nickname all your Pokemon so that way you grow a bond with them. Um, typically in a Nuzlocke, if you faint, if you run out of useful Pokemon, then you will lose the Nuzlocke. However, if I get to a point where I lose or I faint and I have Pokemon on the PC, I will rebuild my team from the Pokemon on the PC and go from there. Because um, I'm on an emulator here. I mean, perfectly legal Nintendo hardware. Um, I can speed up a little bit, like, like chop, um, so that makes things a little bit easier, max elixir, cool, that could be money as well, um, typically you don't want to get rid of those just yet, um, 
But yeah, so right now I can encounter and train up my Pokemon against any number of Pokemon because I cannot actually lose the Nuzlocke right now. Because I do not have Pokeballs as of yet. So I'm gonna do a wee bit of training. So don't mind me, I'm just going to speed up and kind of plow through these guys. And also see what Pokemon I have an ability to catch or encounter here. Pokemon Nurse Joy. Okay, cool. And because I know my tackle isn't gonna kill anything, ooh, that almost killed. Okay, so yeah, I guess I can be a little bit more careful now. Um, if I do end up losing the Nuzlocke within the first couple episodes, I have backup bombs to, you know, for the next episodes. Um, yeah, so it kind of covers everything. Oh yeah. If I happen to run into a Pokemon for my first encounter, that is a Pokemon that I have already seen, or, well, already captured, not seen, um, then it prevents me, then I can catch, I can go for the next encounter instead, so that way I don't have a duplicate Pokemon, unless I choose to have a duplicate Pokemon, like I'm trying to catch a second Mewtwo or something. Granted, I'm not getting a goddamn Mewtwo, not in this shit. Um, Keep hitting X. Um, so we have Stormy here, cast form. Only knows tackle. Uh, item. So let me make sure that I have Pokeballs now. Pokeball is cool. So the Nuzlocke has started. So let's do this. My first encounter in Route 1 will be the first Pokemon that I can attempt to catch. It's going to be Jinx. Okay, so Jinx was the one that I stopped trading for because there was a chance I could kill it in one shot. And I got a critical. Okay, so now I cannot catch any more Pokemon on Route 1 because that Pokemon is now dead. And that was my one encounter. Normal. I missed tackle, okay. Right, tackle's not 100% accuracy in this game. Um, not till like Gen 5 becomes 100%? I think? I could be wrong. I could be slightly wrong on that. Um, yeah, I could be slightly wrong on that. I doubt it, but it could be. Um, do we not get running shoes in this game? Do we have to talk to the bomb? Or you on two? Wait, what the? Bitch. You cheating little bitch. Um, do you not give me running shoes? No? No get them at some point. It's been so long since I played Fire Red. Um, and most of the newer games, either you start out being able to run, or they give them to you within like the first like 10 minutes of the game. And I'm definitely more than 10 minutes into this game. Um, I don't think there are any hidden items on Route 1. So, uh, I'm not gonna battle the rival just yet. I mean, he's got a pretty good attack for the beginning of the game. Yeah, I'm mad that there's no running shoes in this game yet. Alright, so this is my encounter for whatever the fuck route this is. Vibrava. Well, that's scary, because that thing has Sonic Boom. Okay, I can move with the sand too. Uh, Alright, you 
pretty much have to go in the ball like this attempt and stay in the ball, or I'm gonna have to kill you. Okay, the sand tomb does two damage. If he hits me with the sonic boom, I don't die. So one more attempt. Sick. All right, cool. We got a vibrava. Um. Probably never see this thing as a flygon because that's what is that level like 50? But with Sonic Boom, that will help out. So I'm gonna call you. Bullet. Haha, <laughs> get it, it's a Vibrava. Vibrator. Haha. Uh, uh, children's game, I know. Um, haha. Uh -huh. Damn it, I keep hitting X. It's so frustrating. Um, Alright, so let's check you out. Ground Dragon type. Sandville, Ups Invasion, and Sandstorm. I feel like that's something that you would have normally. Um, oh, it doesn't have Sonic Boom. That's in Gen 5 then, or Gen 4. Interesting. I was playing a randomizer of... It's either Gen 4 or Gen 5. Um, couldn't tell you which one, and my starter was a Vibrava, and I guess it was the only good option that was there, and, uh, yeah, it, uh, in your Sonic Boom right off the bat, which, in the early game, Sonic Boom slash Dragon Rage is basically a GG for, like, the first, like, badge and a half, um, Winch it, bitch. Oh, there you go. Okay, I don't have any of yet, so we're gonna have to walk back. Probably could buy some. I do have a very cool thing called Stardust for money. I really keep hitting X. This, this is going to be frustrating. Um, I might change start to X in between episodes <laughs> because that might be the easiest way to get the start menu up. <laughs> That's terrible, but I, I damn well might do it. Give me some Pokeballs. Take some potions. I'm not going to use the Stardust just yet. because it doesn't seem like a good use of my money early game. Goddamn. Uh, Vocal Balls. Wait, where the fuck are my Premier Balls, you cheap fucks? Uh, did, are they not in Fire Red? Man, fuck that. Uh, let's put this down here and you here. Yes, I'm a compulsive person that has to organize my shit. Like, I organize moves, so that way the move that I'm going to use most of the time is going to be up top. So that way I have to make the least amount of button presses and during the game itself. Uh, that's just how I operate. It's just one of the ways that I've taught myself how to play Pokemon over 20-something years. Um, yeah. Let's do a little bit more training. It's a gold pin. Bitch. Now we switch. That was actually really terrifying because that could have been way worse. Maybe I'll just do some switch training. Hope you guys don't mind the uh, speed up. I am a religious user of speed up playing emulated Pokemon games. And it is just a thing that I do. I cannot bother to see everything play out at normal, slow GBA speed. Nice. Level 6. I feel like we should be able to kill it. Okay, you didn't kill it. It came dang close. Alright, let's go. Uh, 
get the hell out of there, buddy. See, that's also my problem with speed up, is I will just go into autopilot and do the wrong thing and get my Pokemon killed, because I'm just running on fucking autopilot. Okay, cool story. Give me the... Catch that Weedle, buddy. You, sh you show it who's boss. I don't care about your teaching TV. Alright, Route 2. Let's see what Pokemon we are going to capture here. Uh, you shouldn't kill anything. Your attack... Oh wait, Dark is special in this game. Right. That split hasn't happened yet. That's based on attack. These are based on special attack. Which makes them bad moves. In theory. Okay. Let's see what our first encounter is here. A Quag Sire. Funny enough, I actually caught a Quag Sire in the testing of the second of the other realm here in this exact spot. Fun fact. This shouldn't do that much. Fucker, he's gonna die. He's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. Alright, well. Yay, experience. <laughs> Shit. Alright, we got one more shot here. Probably before the end of the episode, which is here. In the Viridian Forest. Apparently I've learned that there is a hidden item there. <laughs> Since watching other people play randomizers of this game, I have learned where a lot of hidden items lie. Okay, my encounter for Viridian Forest is a Rhyhorn. That's pretty cool. I can get down with a Rhyhorn. Let's go. Did a lot. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, you motherfucker, you piece of shit. Enjoy your experience, you fucking killer. Cute charm, get the fuck out of here, you little. Hmm. Okay, uh, we're gonna just run from Torkoal, because fuck you for having cute charm. Laffy. Maybe we're gonna get that static, but probably don't. Cast form has better attack than Vibrava, just FYI. Miracle Seed. Okay, cool. Rap Dash. I mean, I'll take the XP. Trico. That could have been my encounter. I could have had a fucking tree go. That'd be cool. I think I've speed boost. I don't know. I'm too busy fast forwarding through everything. I mean, now at least I can hit a poke, hit somebody that has, uh... That's a ghost type. Oh, uh, this is just a bad matchup. Obviously, I probably should... Oh. Oh. Hi, Tyranitar. And see, that's what's scary about randomizers, especially when you play them in a Nuzlocke format, is all of a sudden there's a fucking Tyranitar on your screen. And you're just like, oh, well, ooh, Ember Powder, oh shit, cast form, my dude, you just popped off, hell yeah, your special attack sucks though, fuck, but useful, you are not useless anymore, my man, that's some good shit, alright, I can go into this battle now and not worry, you know what, I'm gonna go back and heal though. 
Oh man, if I had foresawn that he learned all those, oh, I wouldn't have even doubted cast form. That's sick. Uh, what do we have? 25 minutes. Let's go. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Let's battle him. School Royal Annette. Got a Ladybug. <laughs> you got the sucky Pokemon. I'm gonna Ember that bitch. Peace. Didn't kill. Oh man. Not two damage, how dare you. Just so you guys are aware, I will probably do some training inside of um, episodes. I tend to do that in my series, just so the way I don't, honestly, so I don't lose. Hi, Celebi. I really shouldn't be speeding up right now. Yeah, I really shouldn't be speeding up right now. Uh, how about we calm our asses down? We take this nice and slow. What the? Man, fuck you. Thank you. Thank you, bullet. That's a sea dog. Um, like I was saying, I do level up outside of, um, outside of episodes, too, just to make things a little bit faster and just more, you know, easier. Um, because honestly, you could literally be ten levels higher than where you're supposed to be at, and a randomizer can still fuck the shit out of you with just anything. Like, they could just plop down a level 9 Mewtwo, and hey, I'm like three levels ahead of it, and it's like, oh, I still lose. Um, that's not typically my luck with these things, but it can happen. So, with that, we are going to call it here. I don't think I can actually save this. Yeah, we're just gonna do it the other way. Um, so with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Remember, the world ends with you. Don't fuck it up.